using technology as a fully able, fully hearing person is very frustrating, very difficult. Then to add a disability on top of that, I, I, I can't imagine how much more difficult that must make it. And especially when we're in a, a, a mostly fully able world that don't understand those disabilities. I would like to create more debate around how technology can help people with hearing loss. And hopefully this performance will encourage people to be more aware of that and more understanding. Mm. On, tap off. Gas on. Can't wait for this. Can't wait for my royal leg and I can't wait to watch this match. Wow, ah, wow. Man, you come on. Wow. One, one nil. Wow, come on, come on, man, you. Come on, man, you. Oh no, I forgot, he's deaf. Oh, right, um, oh, hello, hello, oh, hello. Oh my God, there's a fire, there's a fire over there. There's a fire right behind you. Oh no, this is so bad. Hiya, what's wrong? I'm trying to access online banking, but they're saying I need to identify myself and talk to them or call them. Can I help? My worst thing about technology is it just when it stops working and then I can't access it. I turn it off, I check the Wi-Fi, and I'm just thinking, how am I going to communicate? This is going to be boring now. I feel frustrated, I feel sad. My main role is a 45-year-old woman. She's a mother of three, and she's suddenly become deaf. She can lip read English because she spent 45 years communicating with people speaking English okay. and seeing the shape that people make with their mouths. Mum! Mum! But it's Mom. definitely very important for deaf people to be alerted. I've found through our exploration and research and what we've implemented into the play is that actually when my deaf character's children need her, she needs to be alerted. They can't, she's locked the bathroom door. The banging on the door, she can't hear them, and it's that kind of communication barrier. In schools, we discussed um, that deaf children will have a device that vibrates in a certain college when the fire alarm goes off, but they have to walk all the way to the top of the building on the morning to get this device. What if there was a fire during that time? I was playing, um, like, mostly an older lady who'd started to go deaf because of age. I put sound up, I can't find my bloody hearing aids again. Is that alright for you? Yeah. Oh, a bit louder. This has just been such an eye-opener to how hard it is to be deaf in a hearing world. I think that the play makes you think about the struggles that deaf people have and how technology can help them based on the fact that deaf people or hearing impaired people, they're so varied, so the technology that's directed towards them needs to be as varied. Core message is really rather than changing hearing impaired people, what they do, what they use to fit in with our hearing world, there are adaptations that we can make.
I want to help access, I want the deaf community to access barriers and carry on and they know it's doable and they can break these barriers, hopefully.